All right, in this scene over here, I want to talk about hypercalcemia. You may be wondering why our patient today is a chimpanzee, and why the nurse is a parrot. We're going to get to this soon, but first, let's take a look at this poster over here. Here we see a poster delineating the important points about hypercalcemia. And if you want this poster, click on the link below. But anyway, we see hypercalcemia with the chimpanzees over here. And that's because chimpanzees is the mnemonic for causes of hypercalcemia. And by the way, what is considered hypercalcemia? Calcium levels are above 10.2 milligrams per deciliter. So 10.2 and above is considered hypercalcemia. So what are the causes of hypercalcemia? Calcium supplements, hyperparate thyroidism, or hyperparathyroidism, that's why we saw the parrot before. Hyperparathyroidism could course cause hypercalcemia because the parathyroid hormone increases calcium levels in the body. Iatrogenic causes, medications such as thiazides and lithium, as well as immobility. Multiple myeloma, represented by the multiple mimes over here, and Paget disease. In both multiple myeloma and Paget disease, osteoclasts lead to the breakdown of bone. Adrenal insufficiency, which has a ton of literature on it, and acromegaly, due to associations with the parathyroid gland. Neoplasms such as breast and lung, because the neoplasm may produce PTHRP, parathyroid hormone releasing protein. Zollinger Ellison syndrome, again due to association with adenomas of the parathyroid gland. Excess vitamin A and vitamin D, as well as sarcoidosis. If we recall, in sarcoidosis there are granulomas. Granulomas, represented by this granny over here, have macrophages which produce 125-hydroxy vitamin D, which leads to hypercalcemia. So this wouldn't only include sarcoidosis, it wouldn't include any condition where we see granulomas. Let's talk about symptoms. So the range of symptoms can be asymptomatic to bones, stones, groans, and psychiatric overtones. Asymptomatic is usually when the calcium level is between 10.2 and 12. But when we get to levels of 13 and 14 milligrams per deciliter, it becomes worse. So bones is about osteopenia and fractures. Stones is about kidney stones, and that's due to the buildup of calcium in the kidney. Groans represents the abdominal symptoms and anorexia, and this is due to various organ involvement and psychiatric overtones due to the change in the cell membrane, especially in the CNS. Diagnosis? Well, we get various labs. But if you note over here, this Osborne wave, this is most associated with hypothermia, but could also be seen in hypercalcemia. And of course, we check the PTHRP levels if malignancy is suspected. In terms of treatment, if the serum calcium is above 14 mg per deciliter, we treat urgently with isotonic IV fluids. We may give furosemide and calcitonin, as well as bisphosphonates. And of course, we treat the underlying disorder. If it's a parathyroid adenoma, there are certain cases where surgery is indicated. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this scene on hypercalcemia. Take care. <laughs>